a very good morning to all today we are moving on to a new topic and the name of the topic is nest of birds so let me ask you a question first have you seen birds building their nest so what is this nest the home of birds we call it as nest so we know that all living beings all living things need air water shelter to live so birds also need a home to live so the home of birds we call it as nest and why do these birds need nest they need nest to lay eggs to raise their young ones they need nest so the home of birds we call it as nest so the birds use different materials to make its nest like twigs cotton thread feathers grass leaves so they use many materials different types of materials to build their nest and why do they build their nest they build their nest to lay eggs so the birds lay eggs in their nest and after few days you know what happens the baby birds hatch from the egg and the mother bird take care of these birds young ones protects them and these young ones stay in the nest till they are able to fly so home of birds we call it as nest now let's see how birds build their nest so there are birds which build their nest on trees on ground or on the surface of the water so let's see different types of birds and their nest the first one birds like crow have you seen uh, crows making nest so they actually build their nest on trees you know what all things they use they use twigs they use uh, thick twigs and thin sticks to make their nest and they build their nest on trees and the weaver bird have you heard about this weaver bird the weaver bird weaves its nest using grass leaves etc and the next one the tailor bird have you seen the tailor bird building its nest it is very interesting about tailor bird you know why because the tailor bird make its nest out of leaves out of large sized leaves and you know what they do they stitch the leaves together so you can see this picture clearly they stitch the leaves together and build their nest and take care of their young ones so they stitch the leaves together with a cotton thread or the thread from the spider web so that is about the nest of tailor bird the next one is the owl you know where do this owl makes nest so the owl makes nest in the holes which is present in the tree trunk so the owls make nest in the holes which is present on the tree trunk and the next one penguin there are birds like the peahen penguin flamingos they build their nest on the ground you know how these penguins build their nest they build their nest on the ground using pebbles pebbles or stones so this is about some birds this is about different birds and their nest so i hope you understood about the topic nest of birds so the home of birds we call it as nest and they lay eggs in their nest and raise their young ones in the nest and birds use different materials to build their nest for that you can take page number 44 in your textbook so let's start with the first exercise so i'll read out the question you can mark the answers then we'll discuss the answers the first one the tail of a bird helps it to read out the option fly walk run swim the second one the body of a bird is covered with scales feathers hair fur and the third one a bird breathes and eats with the help of its mouth beak nose 
close. And the fourth one, to protect birds, we must grow more trees, animals, insects, worms. So let's see the answers. The first one, what is the answer for the first one? The tail of a bird helps it to, so the tail helps to fly. So the answer is fly. The second one, the body of a bird is covered with, so what is the answer? The body of a bird is covered with feathers. There are birds with colorful feathers, so the answer is feathers. The third one, a bird breathes and eats with the help of its, what is the answer? The answer is beak. So we learnt that there are tiny holes which is present in the beak of the bird which helps them to breathe. Then even it eats with the help of beak. Different birds have different kinds of beak depends on their eating habits. So the answer is beak. The fourth one, to protect birds we must grow more. What is the answer? trees. We have to grow more trees. Coming to the second exercise, you can see a bird there and what you have to do is you have to label the parts. You have to label the eye, wing, tail, leg and feathers of a bird and you can mark this in the textbook. Coming to the third one, tick the features which are present in all birds. So here you can see different features of a bird is given. And what you have to do here is, you have to tick the features which is common for all birds. Okay, see the first one, feathers. Do all birds have feathers? Yes. So you can tick. Two legs. Do all birds have two legs? Yes. Two wings. Yes. Birds have two wings which helps them to fly. A beak. Birds have beak. Two eyes. All birds have two eyes. Then two ears. All birds have two ears, but they have internal ears which is present behind their eyes. Then tail, all birds have tail. Webbed feet, do all birds have webbed feet? No, only water birds like the duck, swan, all these birds have webbed feet. So all other features are common for all birds except the last one that is the webbed feet. Moving on to the next one, answer the following questions. So read out the questions, we'll discuss the answers and you have to write it down in your notebook with today's date. The first one, name two flightless birds. So the birds which cannot fly. So which are, which are the two birds which cannot fly? There are many examples. So let's write. Ostrich and emus are flightless birds, but these birds can run faster. So you can write the answer as ostrich and emus are flightless birds. The second one, what helps water birds keep their feathers dry? So the answer is the oil glands present in the feather of the water birds secrete oil which keeps their feathers dry. So these birds, these water birds have oil glands. So that prevents them from keeping their feathers wet. That prevents them from keeping their feathers wet. The third one, what are flight feathers? So we learned about different kinds of feathers. Which are the three types of feathers? The body feather, the down feather and the flight feather. And the question here is, what are flight feathers? So the feathers which are present in the wings and tail of a bird is called as flight feathers. So flight feathers are feathers on the wings and tail that helps a bird to fly. So that is the answer. Coming to the fourth one, what type of beaks do parrots have? So we learnt about the topic beaks of birds. So we learnt that do all birds have the same type of beak? No, different birds have different types of beak, depends on the food they eat. So the question here is, what type of beak do parrots have? So what type of beak they have? They have curved beak. Parrots have strong and curved beak. So what do they eat? They eat seeds, fruits, etc. And that, that helps them. This curved beak helps them to break their food so that they have a strong and curved beak. 
Coming to the fifth one, where does the peahen build its nest? So where do they build their nest? Peahen build nest on the ground. <laughs>